intrigue. Hi, I'm Shiting. Today on Rage, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about Peranakan fashion and food. Let's go check out Beauty and the Fist. This Singapore Food Festival event impressed the senses with beautiful women decked in lovely Peranakan costume and a gala dinner fit for royalty. More than 30 Peranakan dishes were prepared by 10 cooks. They include a celebrity chef, an award-winning chef, and other Peranakan home cooks who know the way right to the guests' hearts. The 60 diners were pampered with authentic Peranakan cuisine made with top-grade ingredients from foie gras to wagyu beef to lobsters. And did I mention that celebrity chef Violet Woon not only impressed the crowd with her recipes but also with her singing? Then came another highlight of the night, the Baba Bling Fashion Show. It was a creative way to showcase Peranakan jewellery with the gold and diamonds standing out against the black outfit on the models. The attention of the crowd was fixated as the models moved gracefully to the ethereal sounds of Enya's wild child. Baba jewellery is part of a complete set of a kebaya outfit. And so to allow a deeper understanding and appreciation of the jewellery, the guests were treated to a guided tour of a Peranakan jewellery exhibition before the dinner. The Peranakan Museum where the dinner is being held is having an exhibition of Baba Bling, which is Baba jewellery, which is I think the best and the first in the world. And so we thought, I, I worked with the Peranakan Museum, we are calling the dinner the beauty and the feast because uh, Beauty, jewellery, beautiful clothes were always worn for feasts in the past. There were no fashion shows to go to and it was always associated with a wedding feast, a birthday feast. The Peranakans are proud of their jewellery and they spend no effort to show their pride to the world. So if you are interested in Peranakan jewellery, head on down to the Peranakan Museum, pay $6 and you will get to tour Baba Bling and the rest of the museum. So what's one piece of jewellery that a Peranakan must have? Oh, usually the croissant or the three brooches that adorn, they, they adorn to fasten the kebayas together. You see, when you wear a long dress like what I'm wearing, it's called baju panjang, the, the three brooches have got no chains and usually it's very large. Whereas the modern kebaya, the shorter, they always have a smaller design and then always with a chain attached. That's the only difference. But the most important essential uh, jewelry is the croissant, the three brooches. Only the, 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 the ladies who wear a, a croissant or, or, or serum, you know, all this and that, you know. The men will try to uh, uh, wear a brooch uh, 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 on, on certain occasion, on one, you know, big brooch. Is it usually gold, silver or diamond? Gold, but inside is, 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 is a diamond, diamond embedded, embedded in, you see? And now some people say, oh, kebaya length must have this length. True, but some say, hey, why you wear like that length? Why? To show off their, their jewellery, see how many layers you have. Uh, anything from a few hundred to a few thousand to many thousands, up to you. How many diamonds you want to put inside, yeah? <laughs> So your costumes are the dressing is actually very bright yeah. and there's a lot of prints. So should the jewelry it's not prints, it's embroidery. Embroidery. Yes, oh, embroidery. Excuse me, embroidery. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so should the jewelry be downplayed or should it be loud as loud as no, the it's very embroidery? Loud. It's very loud. This is like Versace before Versace. <laughs> this is Singapore. Yeah, you know this whole multi layered of prints and all that, like I say JPG and Versace. We did it first, the Pranakans, you know what I'm saying? In the next segment, we show you the jewellery fashion show that will stimulate your senses. <laughs>